Hi friends, I'm Pastor Diana. Welcome to another daily devotion. I'm so glad you've chosen to pause in the midst of what is probably a full day and to reflect on some scripture. This week we are continuing in our big series of The Wandering and continuing what it means to be following God's path in our lives. On Sunday, we discussed what it meant to remember our why, and this week we're talking about what it means to pursue a goal or a call that God has placed before us. I know uh, one of the most recent times when I pursued a big goal in my life was during my sabbatical a couple of months ago when I got ready for a metric century. Now, this is cycling 100 kilometers or 61.2 miles. And it was part of a bigger training program, but my coach said, here's this goal, work towards it, have fun towards it. And that gave me some direction on my cycling of what I needed to be training and working for. And I think that's important in our life. Our scripture lesson today comes from Philippians chapter three, verses 13 and 14. And Paul writes this, brothers and sisters, I myself don't think I've reached it, but I do this one thing. I forget about the things behind me and reach out for the things ahead of me. The goal I pursue is the prize of God's upward call in Jesus Christ. You know, Paul had a lot going on in his life and he remembered that what is important is the goal that is before us. While the Israelites were wandering in the desert, they had a goal that they were pursuing. As a church who's figuring out how to be church as we are in this pandemic, we have a goal we are pursuing. And there are important things that help call us forward on that goal. And one of the most important things is listening to God and listening and seeking God's direction. Or as Paul think, Paul says, I pursue the prize of God's upward call in Jesus Christ. You know, uh, there's probably something going on in your life, something to which you might need a goal. And you might need to connect that goal with your faith in God. How is God calling you in the pursuit of that call? How is God giving you direction in that? During my sabbatical, my direction for getting ready for this metric century came from my coach, but it was also part of this bigger call that God had placed before me as part of my sabbatical of training and working towards uh, my ultimate goal, which was the bike trip. But the bigger goal was having being in Jesus Christ in a time of rest and renewal and re-engagement with my body and all sorts of things. And so I want you to consider, what goals do you have in your life? And how is God calling you in them to pursue them more and more? Will you pray with me? Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for the calls and the goals that you place before us. Help me see how they connect with my faith and help me to pursue them in your name, in all that I say and do. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope that you are, whenever you are watching this, I hope that you have a wonderful and blessed day.